property owner and I have decided to not disclose the location of this find. Um, we're both quite afraid of a mad rush, um, similar to what happened in the California Gold Rush to this property, should the location be revealed. I do think it's good for the sport to find treasure of this rarity and magnitude because it gives people inspiration that maybe maybe this can happen for me. Uh, it's not like this was some sort of archaeological dig in Egypt or somewhere exotic. This happened in Montana. If it can happen in Montana, it can happen anywhere. Do I remember where I was when he found his treasure? Yeah, I remember. I was standing right there. It was my turn. My turn. I do wish I could say that I donated this item. Probably would have been the right thing to do. It's probably one of those items that should be shared and enjoyed by everybody. Unfortunately, my wife and I just really need the money right now. He went without me? And he gets that. I don't know what I'll do um, with the proceeds of this find. Honestly, I don't see our lives changing that much. Maybe we won't have to worry about bills so much, but I pretty much just uh, try to get off work and go metal detecting. So maybe a little less work, a little more metal detecting. Um, I have a treasure in my hand. I don't know what it is, but it feels heavy and like a rock or something. <laughs> oh my god! It's cool. Like, did you just find this on the in the ground? It's a. <laughs> I guess I would consider a sponsorship from the right metal detecting company, but I've decided at this point to not reveal which uh, metal detector I was using. I will say that probably anyone um, could have found this with just about any grade metal detector and although I'm not going to reveal which company or which metal detector I was using I will say this it came up a solid 77 which is generally a zinc penny